Welcome back. Directorate General of Oil and Gas is assessing distribution system of subsidized 3 kilograms LPG. So it will be more effective in targeting less fortunate society. The purchase of 3 uh, or subsidized 3 kilograms LPG will be limited to only 3 times in a month. Other than that, the purchase of subsidized 3 kilograms LPG must use QR code. <music> Subsidized 3 kg LPG distributions is considered not effective since it is absorbed by the society outside the targeted ones. The conditions was causing the less fortunate people having difficulties in accessing a subsidized 3 kg LPG. And to solve the problem, Directorate General of Oil and Gas will implement new strategies such as the purchasing of the subsidized 3 kg LPG will be limited to only 3 times in a month and the purchase of subsidized 3 kg LPG must use the QR code. The system is being discussed by the Minister of Finance to have a detailed calculations. The less fortunate people will get a special QR code and the code will be used when they want to buy subsidized 3 kg LPG. Mungkin pakai ini yang terbaik, pakai apa namanya, QR apa sih yang pakai kode, kode apa itu yang gambar, kan setiap orang punya barcode gitu, tempel gini. Nah itu nanti yang beli itu kan langsung terekam di bank nih barcode ini. The less fortunate people will get three subsidized LPG maximum for three units per month. If they want to get another one, they have to buy the normal price. Jakarta, Muhammad Olga for IDX Channel. Yeah, the problem surrounding the subsidized liquefied petroleum gas or LPG seems to have no end. One critical issue is in ensuring that the subsidized LPG ends up only in the hands of eligible beneficiaries, which are the poor. But then, missing target has always been government's problem. Despite all the problems, subsidized allocation in LPG is high in state budget 2020, even higher than fuels that are respectively most used to power logistical transportation, private vehicles, and rural cook stoves. Therefore, I will firstly open this infographic segment with realization of 3 kilograms LPG distribution as per year. Let's check the data. In 2017, the realization of 3 kg LPG distribution as much as 6.3 million metric tons. In 2018, 6.5 million metric tons. And in 2019, 6.8 million metric tons. This one is taken from Pertamina's data. Through the data, the subsidized 3 kg LPG realization is higher and higher. Therefore, Ministry of Finance is wary of the potential for consumption of 3 kg LPG canisters from the quota set in the state budget. In 2017, for example, the consumption quota set by the state budget draft for 3 kg LPG was 6.23 uh, billion, while the realization it was 6.31 billion metric tons. Despite the demand problem, the distribution process also make another huge problem. One critical issue is in ensuring that the subsidized LPG distribution ends up only in the hands of eligible beneficiaries, which are the poor. At present, even the wealthy can easily purchase the 3 kilogram canisters of subsidized LPG at discounted prices through online marketplaces. There are also another challenges in LPG distribution. We can check it through the next graphic. So this is the direct LPG distribution scheme from government will be distributed to poor people, three gas cylinders per month, and as much as nine gas cylinders per month will be distributed maximum for SME. This one is taken from uh, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources data. And in regards difficult price control, prices at the consumer level tend to be determined by retailers, so price control is kind of difficult. Joko Siswanto, a spokesperson of Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, stated that in its implementation indeed found several challenges that have been identified and disrupt distribution. To overcome the challenges, the government has come up with a solution, replace the indirect LPG subsidy with a direct subsidy. 
there are several schemes in the emerge for direct subsidies, one uh, of which used cards or barcodes connected with banks. We can analyze the scheme through the next graphic. As you can see, actually the explanation that I explained to you before, it's for the graphic before, and this is the challenges in LPG distribution. The first one is LPG allocation and the, uh, is the biggest compared to uh, other energy subsidy allocations. Subsidy budget has potential to be out of control with large amount and dis uh, difficult price control, and many leakage of subsidy distribution is not on a target. Once the direct subsidy scheme was implemented, the LPG will be sold at a market price of around 30,000 rupiah per canister with a discounted price for beneficiaries after sellers have uh, uh, authenticated their identities. Other than QR code method, government also has three possible methods for implementing the direct subsidy. E-vouchers sent as text messages, biometric authentication, and a combination of electronic identify or identity cards. But for now, the most visible one is by using QR code, which the implementation will be done in the mid of this year, uh, in the middle of 2020. According to the plan, it will be implemented in July 2020. Secretary General of the Ministry and Energy and Mineral Resources, Ego Shahria, said that the government limits the distribution of 3 kilogram LPG. This is done because the subsidy for LPG is the biggest compared to other energy subsidy allocations. Before we jump into the proportion of LPG, let us examine first energy subsidy in 2020 as a whole. Let's check the next data. We try to compare um, the uh, subsidy for refined fuel oil and LPG and electricity. The green one is for the state budget uh, and the yellow one is for the uh, state budget draft. State budget draft 137.46 trillion and in the state uh, budget the total as much as 124.87 trillion rupiah through the data the stated um, energy subsidy budget is indeed lower than previously stipulated in the 2020 draft state budget which was 137.46 trillion according to Sri Mulyani as finance minister the decrease in energy subsidies is due to changes in the ICP oil price assumption, which is lower than the assumptions in the previous 2020 draft state budget. Energy subsidy is consisted of refined fuel oil, LPG, and electricity. So how about the proportion between refined fuel oil and LPG itself? Let's check the data. The um, subsidy for refined fuel oil, as much as 18.7 trillion rupiah, but for LPG, as much as 49.39 trillion rupiah. So you can see the difference between the two. With that proportion, the ministry's data estimates that 26 million households are eligible for the direct LPG subsidy. The final figure could be higher, as this does not include other beneficiaries like micro businesses and fishermen. In its preliminary um, discussion, the ministry has already reached a decision on the direct subsidy scheme that a single household will be eligible for 3 kg canisters of LPG per month. Meanwhile, micro businesses will be eligible for 3 kg canisters per month and fishermen will be eligible for 3 canisters per month. And we hope direct subsidy scheme could help curb the distribution problem. Stay tuned on Market Headlines because we'll be right back after the break.